So I also suggest you with the animal farms, farm animals, you play matching games. As I said, it's very good for the identification of different patterns and relationships because between the object, like for instance, look, this tiger doesn't look like this tiger in the picture, but just because he or it has a stripe, your child may actually recognize that there is a, a similarity between those two, they have stripes. Or for instance, this hippo doesn't look like the hippo from the picture. So that's why we are, but it has a big mouth, the same like on the picture and the kid will definitely pick it up and match. So then we also, matching game helps to uh, to develop problem solving skills from the beginning right identification and similarities and developing of the pincer grab or the motor skills and in terms of the language you give them instructions as a separate game you play this uh, matching animal game and first you model what you want from your child you always model so you grab the animal and you say you, uh, match the, the animal with its picture match the animal animal with its picture match the animal with its picture picture animal picture animal and then найди картинку для каждого животного соедини животное и картинку соедини животное и картинку соедини животное и картинку and then you put it on the you can speak, as I said, in parallel, just doubling yourself everything you say. And when you put the animal, when you put it down, you say moo. And um, I keep on repeating, 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 eventually your kid is gonna get it. Start with the little few animals, then slowly increase gradually. Then we have another very interesting game 